Assalamualaikum Hi everybody In this video I'm going to show you my new pulse motor I'm going to explain all the details I will make a demonstration and then I will tell you some ideas to optimize this motor okay here you can see the uh, simplified schematic of my motor here I have um, two coils Actually, these are one coil. Here I have a rotor, a permanent magnet rotor. Here I have the uh, timing wheel. And I use um, optical interrupter as a sensor. And here I have trigger circuit. And here I have my switching unit and uh, to power this coil I use DC power supply okay now about the uh, basic of pulse motor here is the uh, um, rotor permanent magnet rotor and if we have um, magnetic field in this orientation the rotor will turn um, clockwise okay and if we uh, pulse the uh, magnetic field at the uh, correct uh, timing the rotor will continue to rotate okay now I'm going to show you my setup this is the uh, coil This is the uh, timing wheel. Going to turn on the light. Okay, you can see the uh, hole here. And over here, I have the uh, optical interrupter. So if the uh, The hole is uh, at this position, the uh, interrupter will read the signal, okay? And inside the uh, um, coil, I have this uh, permanent magnet attached to the uh, rotor I have shown you the uh, details on my previous video and I have the uh, circuit here is my 5 volt uh, power supply Here is the uh, MOSFET driver and here is the uh, switch, the MOSFET. And I use um, so 12 volt um, battery to power the uh, circuit. And then the uh, 
coil is powered by this um, adjustable um, transformer okay I'm going to show you from this side and um, here I have a diode this is uh, to capture the uh, back EMF and I have a light bulb as a load for the uh, um, back EMF okay this is 116 watt um, light bulb 240 volts okay the uh, output from this transformer is rectified by this diode and then the uh, DC voltage from this diode is stored um, in this capacitor okay now I'm going to start the motor I'm going to set the voltage and then Now I'm going to set the voltage higher to 60 volt AC. Now we can see. the light bulb is capturing the uh, back EMF okay I'm going to um, show you the uh, 
what will happen if we turn the uh, rotor at the uh, opposite direction now I'm going to stop this rotor okay the rotor is uh, normally spinning to the uh, to the right or clockwise now I'm going to turn on the uh, to set the voltage higher and then I'm going to show you what will happen if I spin the rotor counterclockwise it will so you can see that the uh, the rotor will only turn clockwise rotation and not counterclockwise like this Okay, now I'm going to tell you some ideas. Here we can see the, uh, sorry, here we can see the uh, um, different pulse modes. I mean, now what we have now is this one. I have one short um, pulse at the uh, um, zero degree timing. I mean, like this. This is zero degree. Okay? And I can use, for example, um, microcontroller to alter the timing um, more advanced or retard okay so this pulse can be set earlier or later okay and then also with um, microcontroller we can set the uh, pulse width okay and then we can also make multiple pulses per pulse this is for the uh, short pulse we have some pulses thus we get more um, back EMF pulses as well and then if we want to um, extend the uh, pulse we can have more smaller pulses so maybe we can get more uh, back EMF output from this and also we get higher efficiency I don't know I have to test these ideas okay again I'm going to demonstrate 
और सत्तू दिया फिफ्थ बोर्ड और चौथ दिया दोस्तों Here is my complete setup. By the way, um, the uh, switching unit, I mean, this circuit can be replaced by this uh, ignition module. I have te tested this uh, um, setup using 18 volts the motor runs but uh, very slowly so you can use any switching circuit for this okay I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.